chan ko pare to uphold the dreams of our founder. I'm part of the university. Great, thank you, Scotch Band. Let's, let's.
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Thank you, the Scots, the Rover Scots. We are going to have a word of prayer. Kindly, members, I request that you stay. You don't take your seats right now. Let's have a word of prayer. And the person that is going to take us in the word of prayer is none other than Pastor Seba Gala Ivan Samuel from the Seventh day Adventist Church, Uganda Union Mission, and is the director of chaplaincy of public, uh, public campus ministries at the National Office of SDA Church. And also, Ms. Kabugu, uh, Muzei Kabugu Abdal Lamajit, head teacher, Saidina uh, Abaka Abak Secondary School, Kabasanda. So, may I kindly have you here, and then you take us in the word of prayer. Where there is God, everything is possible. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Let us bow our heads as we meditate on these words that I'm going to read in this prayer. Heavenly Father, I give you thanks for the triumph of this day. Thank you for Kampala University. Make it shine bright and grow from strength to strength. We glorify your name for the successful completion of this part of life's journey by all graduates who are here today. Thank you for the knowledge these graduates learned in school, for the successes and failures that have taught them how to succeed. Thank you for the friendships gained, for the support of understanding parents and teachers, and for the gift of self-knowledge. Bless the lives of the graduates with goodness and love. Help them to use their gifts wisely, pursue their dreams boldly, and give them to walk into the future with faith, hope, and great love. Surround those who are graduating with your grace. Bless them with hope so that they move into the future with eager and open hearts. Help them to put the knowledge, skills, and insights gained through their education for the good of all mankind. Inspire them to believe in the goodness of life, even when faced with challenges and difficulties. As they commence with their lives, may they grow even more with the grateful and wise. Father, Lord, we believe that you have heard our prayer. And we pray that bless us on this occasion. Bless all the programs that are going to be conducted today. And bless each one of us. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم صل وسلم مبارك على سيدنا محمد in the name of God most gracious most merciful we thank you God for every good thing associated with today and this graduation function in particular we glorify your name and thank you for the gift of Kampala University, its staff, its students, and its graduates, and the well-wishers. We thank you for our chief guests and other guests from Uganda and beyond. We thank you, God, for our chancellor, the vice chancellor, and the entire staff of Kampala University. Our God, we thank you for our graduates of today from the various faculties. We thank you for our parents and our sponsors. Upon this academic height, we congratulate each other. We seek your forgiveness, God, where we have wronged. We seek for more guidance, God, and blessings as we pursue this journey of life. We pray that our graduates get appropriate roles to participate in the development of the various countries from which they come and humanity at large. Make us obedient to your commandments, God. Take us as your believers and resurrect us among the good people of your servants. At the appropriate time, dear God, 
We seek for journey masses as we get back to our destinations. For God and my country, in your name we pray. Let's, God is good all the time. Wow. Salaamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You can take your six graduates. You are a winner! You are a winner! Your champions! Luelo, your champions! Masaka, your champions! Jinja! Jinja! Mutundwe! Mutundwe! Yo, 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 yo! Ga, 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 ga! Gaba! There we go! All right. That is Kampala University. We are celebrating 25 years. At the same time, we are holding the 21st graduation ceremony. And at the same time, the fifth graduation ceremony for our beloved dancers. Our chief guest, you're most welcome to Uganda, in particular, your country, and Kampala University in a very special way. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I know we cannot do anything here without your, perf your permission. Allow me, Mr. Chancellor, take this privilege and honor to kindly request to you to constitute the 21st Assembly of Kampala University. Thank you. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I constitute this assembly into the 21st congregation of Kampala University held on this 25th day of April 2024. Graduates, can you clap for that? Mm -hmm. I need to hear some noise for that. Yes. Because now the Chancellor has accepted that we can convene and we have this ceremony on. And uh, we are live on BBS TV and uh, Salam TV and all social media platforms of Kampala University, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Chancellor, sir, allow me to notify our chief guest before I invite the representative of the graduating class that uh, this function is so special in nature. It is three in one. I don't think so, and whether other universities have been doing it, but we are unique in nature, being that even our name is unique. It is the name for the capital of Uganda. The, cha the vice chancellor is unique. You yourself, you are unique. So that's why we are holding a unique function with unique guests. So, we are celebrating 25 years of our amazing exhibitors. Our nurses are holding their fifth graduation ceremony and also the 21st graduation ceremony of Kampala University. So, it is special in nature. Can we join up our hands to thank the Almighty God for this great function? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, before I invite the representative of the graduating class. Permit me at this moment to recognize Musei, oh, this, uh, they have just take, uh, taken us in the prayers, uh, to recognize Mr. Kakande Nelson, Principal Luwaga Hospital Training School. You're most welcome. Uh, Madam Irene Watenga Kalamaji, Special Presidential Assistant, uh, Oyale Matters, State House, Uganda. Madam Irene, you're most, most welcome. Uh, 
We welcome the Vice Chancellor, St. Lawrence University, Dr. Charles Wakoko Masaba. Professor, you're most, most welcome. Uh, Mr. Mwanga John, uh, Mituve Satu, Gaba, you're most, most welcome to this great function. We recognize the presence of Honorable John Kenny Richams, the man. What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, this is the president of CP. You're most welcome, sir. And uh, we have the Vice Chancellor uh, Clark International University, Professor Rosie Nanyonga. You're most, most welcome. And uh, in, as we are carrying on this function, we are going to recognize all these um, important people who have managed to honor our invitation. Uh, this moment in time, let me invite the representative of the graduating class to give his speech on behalf of the rest. So can you, uh, Mwarim, DJ, welcome our brother here. Oh, graduates, this one is going to represent you, all of you. Uh, give him some vibe, okay? Hey, Mwarimu, you're most welcome, Karibu Sam. A very good morning to all of you. Habarini za subuhi, mabibi na mabwana. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Our most honored chancellor, sir, chief guest at our Sylvia Jubilee graduation, our one and only vice chancellor, Professor Badru Dungu Katurega, chancellor council, your excellencies, the high commissioners, vice chancellor from the BDK University Network, our parents, guardians, and spouse. Fellow graduates, ladies and gentlemen, I'm jubilant to present the 21st Jubilee graduating class of Kampala University 2024. I'm Mansab Saif Nasol of Kampala University with a Bachelor of Agriculture and Community Development. I'm from Tanzania, Zanzibar. I greet you all in the name of Almighty Allah. I thank the Creator who has enabled us to make it here today. Indeed, this is the day the Lord has made for us to, to rejoice in it. I'm great humbled to deliver this message on such a joyous day on behalf of the 21st graduation. I convey my deepest gratitude toward the university management and all staff who have made our stay here at Kampala University comfortable and productive. You are highly appreciated. Furthermore, I thank our parents, guardians, spouse for their endless support and prayers toward our success. We adore you. Fellow graduates, we have made it. Glory to our God. Ndugu zanguni hakika tumefanikisha. Tumshukuruni Mwenyezi Mungu. But the end of one day is the commencement of another. The end of one task is the beginning of new one. So, it is with a great joy we accomplish this journey, but it mark beginning of the other task. It's my prayer. Let's not give up. Victory comes to the determined. Failure and trades should not be the reason for us to say no. But rather let us use them as inspiration to do better for the future begins today. Graduates, we finally have a mother, Kampala University, our alma mater. Hatumai tumempata mama ambaye ni Kampala University Hapa ndiyo nyumbani. We love you, Kampala University. We pray for you, Mama Kampala University. We stand to come and upgrade. Viva Kampala University, viva!
Viva Kampala University, viva! Asante ni sana. A very big thank you, Ndugu. Asante ni sana too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as we are carrying on this great function, we recognize the Director of Research and Innovation from Kampala International University and is representing the Vice Chancellor, Dr. Hashim Ibrahim. Thank you so much for honoring our invitation. Jolima, Jolima Foundation, Education Foundation, MD, Prince Damba John and Muzana Victoria Damba. Thank you so much for honoring the invitation. Haji Sebalu K. Jamiru, CEO Namasuba College of Commerce. Thank you so much for coming. Engineer Masembe, Sheikh Chibes, Chairman Gaba Mosque, Haji Jamada Kawesa, and uh, Haji Chiseka from Buikwe. Thank you so much for coming. High Excellency Susan Inabuma, Uganda's Ambassador for Women and Girls. Thank you so much for honoring this great uh, invitation of Camp, uh, from Kampala University. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Professor, among us the graduates, we have Afande Nasuna, Lillian, Regional Crime Intelligence Officer, uh, Seziwa, and is graduating today with a master's degree in public health at Kampala University here. Afande, where are you? Hey, she's here. I'm not a criminal, but uh, I will be your friend so that I, I, I get served in case of a challenge. <laughs> so, Afande, you're most, most welcome. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, as I told you that we are live on Bukede TV, uh, sorry, we used to have a Bukede Day here. But this time around, we have BBS Telfaina, EFE, Uganda. Before I invite uh, the big man, let me take this pleasure and honor to notify everyone that is watching us right now that registration for the August intake is on. And also the in-service program Registration is on. Students are reporting on Monday, 23rd, I mean 29th. 29th of April, that is when uh, the in-service program will be kicking off. So all of you, you're not fight. Whoever that is watching us from here and far, kindly get to know that the in-service program is starting on Monday. And the registration for the August intake is also on. At all our campuses, Luelo, Jinja, Masaka, Mutundwe, Gaba. Luelo, Jinja, Mutundwe, Masaka, and Gaba. Where our nurses have been studying from. July intake. Registration here. Egena Mumaso. So go and not a new and this to get a cool number in Simu, a Yokuba Co, Flaventi Otega Taco, Kukampala University, Gasinaba Kuitira, and Tandiswayo Okogera Co, Jemuli. So you can call 0773 or 0703 Seven four. Owe ngawe Kukampala University original. Ladies and gentlemen, before I invite our beloved founder, permit me to recognize 
uh, Mr. David Musman, representing the executive, uh, the executive director of National Council for Higher Education. These are our regulators. Thank you so much, Mr. David uh, Musman, for honoring our great invitation. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a list here I wanted to recognize. There's a list. There is a list before I invite the chief uh, professor so that he knows the people he's, uh, he's going to address. We have Professor Rose uh, Clark Nanyonga. That one I've already recognized that. She's the Vice Chancellor, Clark International University. We have the DVC Central Lens University. Thank you so much for coming. Manager, Echo Bank Uganda. Thank you so much for coming. Haji Masembe Muhammad, thank you so much for coming. Lake Kanoni Grace from Clark International University, thank you so much for coming. And Madam Alice Niramahero, thank you so much for coming. Mr. Andrew Mugaga, Vice Chairman, uh, thank you so much for coming. Okay, Dr. Omar, Director Munazamat Dawa Islamia. Thank you so much for coming, Dr. from Munazamat Al Dawa Islamia. And also the principal of Al Mustafa University College. Thank you. How would that be without you? We have Sam Tulia, Director Karoja International School. Thank you so much for coming. We have Honorable Dr. Sala Nkonge Mwonge, and this is the director of Kampala Secondary School, St. Francis Iboloba, and Mbiris Modern. Doctor, where are you sitting? Hey, Dr. Sala Nkonge. Hey, she's our visiting lecturer here. Thank you so much for coming. And then we have Mukwenda, the newly appointed Mukwenda. You can come here, Mukwenda. And uh, there's a reason why. I wanted to save time. Mukwenda. Yes, this is the new Mukwenda. He was the chairman in Koba Zambogo in 2006. Now he's the new Mukwenda of Singo. So you can see how great we are. Congratulations, sir. Thank you so much. And uh, I, I think for now, I can invite the founder of the university. Ladies and gentlemen, your winners! You are a winner! You are a champion! You are a champion! Say, I am a champion! You are a winner! Yeah, 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 yeah! We are inviting the founder of our university. He is none other than Olechitiwa. Alahaj, comma, Professor, comma, Professor Emeritus, comma, National Hero, comma, Ambassador for Peace, comma, Vice Chancellor Kampala University, comma, Chairman Board of Trustees East African University Rwanda, comma, Chairman East African University Nairobi Kenya, comma, Ambassador Extraordinary and Plain Potentially, comma, holder of King Abdulaziz First Class Medal in East, Central, and Southern Africa, comma, Chief Scout, the Chief Scout of Uganda, comma, Sarongo Professor W. Dungu Katonega. Wow, 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 wow!
Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, Mr. Chancellor, Professor Mondo Kagonyera, our chief guest, Professor Dr. Manfred Dietrich, all the way from Germany. Chairman and members of the Board of Trustees, Chairman and members of the University Council, Vice Chancellors of Sister Universities, the Deputy Vice Chancellor, Ambassadors, High Commissioners, and other members of the Diplomatic Corps, members of Parliament, public service officers and local government leaders, our religious leaders, and all representatives of cultural institutions, colleagues in the medical fraternity, all representatives of different sports fraternities, corporate representatives, deans of schools, heads of department, directors of campuses, and principals of schools, the principal Kampala University School of Nursing and Health Sciences, her faculty and staff, the alumni and continuing students of Kampala University, our dear parents, guardians, sponsors, and spouses, the media, the security, the graduates, Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good morning. <coughs> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. God is good, and all the time. Clap for God once again. and clap for the chief guest. And clap for the chancellor. And lastly, clap for yourselves. Well, I have a long speech which I will not read. It will be sent to you online. In the meanwhile, we say on behalf of Kampala University community and on my own, I take this opportunity to welcome you well, so warmly to our Gaba Lakeview campus today where you are sitting. You are sitting near water, so be careful. It is not just a swimming pool. We are here to witness three important functions, three in one, without being the trinity. 
three in one. What are those? The Kampala University 21st graduation ceremony, which we have opened in style, and you don't clap. We are having another occasion where we are graduating the School of Nursing and Health Sciences students in their fifth graduation ceremony. And the kick starting, we have just started today, the kick starting of Kampala University Silver Jubilee Anniversary Celebrations. As of today, we have clocked 25 years in operation. And so we are 25 years old. And you don't clap for being 25. Look at you. <laughs> So we are in a celebrative mood. If you don't celebrate today, I don't know when you will ever celebrate. Our dear distinguished guests, unlike in the past where we have been organizing two separate graduation ceremonies, one in Mutundwe for the nurses and the GABA for the rest, this time around, we opted to combine and organize one major function because it is also smart to be frugal. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor Sir, allow me at this juncture to officially welcome and introduce to you our chief guest, Professor Dr. Manfred Dietrich. He is the Honorary Consul of Uganda in Hamburg, Federal Republic of Germany. Can you wave to them? Stand up. Stand up. That's your chief guest today. Clap more for him. Thank you. Welcome, sir. So he has been welcomed by the Chancellor, and I hope you. He is a trusted friend and supporter of Kampala University. Don't you think Kampala University is the only local? We are international and universal. We have friends locally and internationally. So that's why today for a change we have him a trusted friend of Kampala University. I am much honored to welcome you, sir, to our prestigious university here in Uganda. I thank you for accepting our invitation and sparing time out of your busy schedule to attend this tripartite celebration. In the same vein, let me take this honor and privilege to welcome and recognize some members of your accompanying delegation. He is accompanied by his friends, who are also friends of Kampala University. Among them, we have Dr. Ben Mbonye Girasi, who is the director of Nakasero. Hospital is a big expert in the medical field and he's accompanying him. And uh, Sir, Sir Gordon Professor Dr. Wabamuno should have been here, but he has been held up. Maybe we will get him later, but at least he's part of the accompanying delegation. Clap for him in absentia. There is also Sam Bawala who is accompanying him. 
so he's not alone. I wish also to sincerely thank our presiding chancellor, Honorable Professor Mondo George Kagonera, for ably presiding over this 21st congregation, sir. We are so proud of you, Mr. Chancellor, and we appreciate the guidance. Now, with the 25th anniversary, don't be confused, we, are, we have 25 years, which we are celebrating, but we are also observing the 21st graduation. Members of the congregation, it gives me lots of pleasure to inform you that it is now 25 years since Kampala University opened its doors to its pioneer students in February 1999. That's why the, the new Saza chief of Usingo called Mukwenda is a product of Kampala University. Club for him. As the founding vice chancellor of this university, I have seen this institution grow steadily both in form and style, since inception up to date. For this, we thank the Lord. Please thank the Lord for Kampala University. Thank the Lord for Professor Katerega, the founder of Kampala University. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor Sir, allow me to inform the audience that over the last 25 years I have been in the saddle, Kampala University has been able to register remarkable achievements, some of which I'm delighted to mention as we recall our past. We have been achieving since inception. One of the major achievements we got was the acquisition of a charter. Kampala University is a chartered university. It is the capital's chartered university. What is our other achievement? We have established sister universities in Kenya and Rwanda. I was waiting for that. Thank you for those who remembered. <laughs> so Kampala University has managed to expand its operations to other countries in the region by establishing two independent, fully-fledged sister universities, namely the East African University Kitengela, whose vice chancellor should have been here, and East African University Rwanda and the Vice-Chancellor of Rwanda, Professor Kalisti Kabera, is here. Please stand up. Oh, he's behind me, because he's my colleague. All these universities are fully chartered with the branches in the host countries. Our headquarters is in Nyagatare, but we have a branch also in Ikigali. Club for the East African University of Rwanda. <laughs> we are happy also to inform the parents that Kampala University has established five independent campuses, which you know Mutundwe, Jinja, Masakal, Wero, and Gaba, main campus here at the warm shores of Lake Victoria. If you have never gone to a beach, just come to Kampala University and everything will be normal. <laughs> now, these campuses are offering certificates, diplomas, degrees, and masters in accredited academic programs in education, business, humanities, 
information and IT, filmmaking and photography, agriculture, health sciences, among others. That is a big achievement. The BDK Universities Network. BDK is Bad Rudungu Katerega Universities Network International. This is a fully registered holding company mandated to finance and oversee all operations of the BDK subsidiary institutions in the East African region. That is an achievement. Universal land and infrastructure. One of the key benchmarks for the National Council for Higher Education for accreditation is having sizable land. Kampala University, under its able leadership, has managed to acquire, to acquire enough land and infrastructure for all its campuses, and we continue to improve on our infrastructure. So, here we have facilitated the accreditation, accreditation of most of our campuses by the National Council for Higher Education. Luero is fully accredited, Mutundu is fully accredited by National Council, Gaba is fully accredited, Jinja is about to be accredited, and Masaka. Curricular development. Kampala University has been able to successfully embark on a serious project of developing new curricular programs and reviewing old ones as required by the National Council for Higher Education. So far, Kampala University has got a total of 228 programs which are already displayed on the National Council for Higher Education official website. All our graduates who are graduating today will be graduating from accredited curricula. So that we have not trained any of you for expired courses. International research and education collaboration. Kampala University has and continues to aggressively embark on seeking collaborative links with both local and international institutions for promotion of research and educational programs. So far, the university has signed the MOUs with the several institutions in Germany, USA, Turkey, Iran, Pakistan, OIC countries for joint collaboration in the areas of research, science, and technology, staff development, students and cultural exchange, et al. I take this opportunity, therefore, to thank our chief guest, Professor Dr. Manfred, for his instrumental role in fast tracking the implementation of the signed MOUs between the German institutions and Kampala University. <laughs> Update on sports. You know, Kampala University is a university, uh, is a sports giant. Kampala University teams continue to participate in different sports activities organized locally, regionally, and internationally where they have been winning several trophies and accolades. Kampala University, who are the two-time overall champions for, your, for the football, University Football League in Uganda, were unfortunately the second runners-up in the just concluded Inter-University Champions League for Uganda, where they beat moves seriously to become, to become the second runners-up. In other words, to become number three. So we are number three, although we have been 
number one, two times. Out of eight times, we are doing very well. Graduation. Mr. Chancellor, I'm happy to inform you that today, as we begin to celebrate our Silver Jubilee, the school is also holding, uh, the nursing school is, all, is also holding its 50th graduation ceremony, where a total of 561 also students will be graduating with certificates and diplomas in nursing and midwifery. Out of these, 10 students passed with the distinctions, and the total number of male graduates is about 67. There are also male nurses and midwives, although the nursing fraternity is saying they are not so comfortable with male midwives. <laughs> but they are there. 11.94. While the total number of female graduates in nursing is about four, 494, which is 88.05%. All these graduates are ready for deployment in the local and international health care system. Clap for the graduates. We wish you nursing graduates and midwives the best of luck in your celebrations today and in your future endeavors. The 21st graduation ceremony, Mr. Chancellor Sir, the chief guest, and all distinguished guests, I'm pleased to report to you that during Kampala University 21st graduation ceremony, a total of about 3,036 students will be awarded certificates, postgraduate diplomas and undergraduate diplomas, and conferred with bachelor's and master's degrees in various programs of their academic pursuit. So we are going to graduate today over 3,000 students. Clap for yourselves. And because you are many, that's why we regret you couldn't allow you to bring two parents because our compound extends in the lake, but some of you don't know how to swim. <laughs> so we saved the situation by allowing only one parent. But next time, inshallah, we shall see what to do. Presentation of Dr. Manfred Dietrich for the award also of the Honorary Doctorate of Philosophy in Public Health. Mr. Chancellor Sir, permit me to inform you that our chief guest today will also be the chief graduate. He will soon be presented for the award of the Honorary Doctorate of Philosophy in Public Health in recognition of his support and outstanding achievements in mitigation of HIV AIDS and malaria in Africa. We are looking at also his advocacy for medical and vocational training and promoting bilateral relations between Uganda and Germany. Professor Dr. Manfred is also the presidential advisor here in Uganda on HIV AIDS and tropical diseases in Uganda. Please note that he is the fourth recipient of this coveted honorary doctorate of Kampala University. In the last 25 years, we have only given four doctorates. The rest of the details will be covered when you will be presented before the Chancellor in the next few minutes.
But there is also something good here, staff development. Some of our staff have done well, they have gone for PhDs and so on. But in, in particular, I am happy to inform the 21st congregation that our own senior staff member, Dr. Chris Kirunda, the University Quality Assurance Director, was recently promoted, was appointed and elevated by Senate from the level of senior lecturer to the level of associate professor of literature of Kampala University. Where is Dr. Kiruna? That is the man, club for him. Dr. Chris Kirunda has published several books and he will be giving a copy of his letters to the chief guest, inshallah. I am pleased to inform you that amongst the graduates for today, we have a top diplomat at the Somalia Embassy in Uganda and also uh, Lillian Nafuna, uh, as pretendant of police who followed a master's in public health, among others. Our message to the graduates, our dear graduates, as you may be aware, there is a scarcity of jobs worldwide. We therefore need to create the jobs ourselves. Having a degree from a certain discipline is not enough. You need to enhance it with the vocational skills that can make you earn an extra income for you to live a better life. Vocational and technical studies should always be added to traditional academic studies and career objectives. Combining vocational studies with the traditional academic studies can provide a well-rounded education that includes both theoretical knowledge and practical skills. This approach may be beneficial for individuals who seek broader skill set or want to explore several career points. You are getting a degree or a diploma. That may not be enough. You are still intelligent enough to pick on a skills career so that you can fit in in this world which lacks jobs. Therefore, on top of the vocational studies we had in our system, we are going to add on multiple areas for benefit of our beloved students so that someone gets a degree or a diploma and accompanies the same with a, a vocational skill as a, an extra competence. That's what our chief has been advocating, the German dual curriculum. Once again, my renewed gratitude to our chief guest and your delegation. I am also grateful to the Uganda Scouts Association. You may wish to know that I'm the chief scout of Uganda. <laughs> and in the hierarchy, I'm number two, the patron is number two, number one, chief scout number, number two, and chief commissioner number three. Alice is here as the chief commissioner of scouts in Uganda. Where are the scouts? That's why you saw the scout band here for the first time. Because we are, we are in control. <laughs> but you need to see the youth. The scouts are a youth movement. 
and the, your youth, they should be able to entertain you. Why should you always be entertained by your elders when you have colleagues who can do it better? <laughs> so I welcome you, the scouts, uh, and the entire leadership. Last but not least, I take this chance to appreciate, in a big way, Mrs. Jolie Shubaiha Katerega, the BO teacher person, for all the efforts and sleepless nights that have defined this occasion as a resounding success. All my team has worked, but she has had sleepless nights. Congratulations once again to you all, my team mates. I have a big team, the DVC and her team, the AR, and so on, human resource. I thank all of you for successfully completing your tenure for giving us such a colorful ceremony. I wish you all a pleasant stay as you enjoy the rest of the program for today. And once you choose to go back, journey masses, enjoy your graduation. We have sent you to the world to make a difference. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh -huh. Well, thank you our beloved founder and vice chancellor. Ladies and gentlemen, let's join up our hands to make a thunderous applause for our vice chancellor. Graduates, please. It is because of his dream that all of us we are seated here. So ask yourself, what dream have you got so far? Okay? So if you, you, if you go back home, dream well. Are you together? All right. You are a winner! You are a winner! You are a champion! Ra! In our presence, we have the member of parliament for Jiri municipality. And this man, he's the university orator. He's the orator of Kampala University. And he's a senior lawyer in this country. And he's a director of different schools in this great country. Honorable Asmani Basarirwa. Sir, where are you seated? Hey, that's our the great man, Honorable Basarirwa Asman. And uh, <laughs> he'll be coming here soon. And uh, we have Council Semandeke Mohammed. Uh, he's the head of legal department, Kampala University. Council Semandeke Mohammed. We have uh, Haji Muhammad Magembe, Director, Maggem Enterprise Limited. We have uh, Engineer Nkoyoyo Erisa and is the Assistant Commissioner and Innovations under the Scouts family. We have Kano Robert Ngabirano, the Chief Education and Sport, Chief of Education, Sports and Culture, UPDF. Find them here. Yes, yes, yes. Jamba Fandi. Hey. <laughs> we have the Dean of Students of St. Lawrence University, and is representing the Uganda Deans of Forum, Dean of Students Forum, and is also the Piara O. I'm the Piara O here, is the Piara of St. Lawrence University. Thank you so much for coming, sir. And of course, uh, uh, we have uh, Honorable Sesanga Issa, is the MP Silonko, and is also a member of the Uganda Scouts Association. Honorable. Sasaga. Sasaga. Okay. Honorable Sasaga Isa. Sasaga. <laughs> Isa. Thank you, Honorable. Sheikh Ali Zikusoka. Thank you so much for coming. Reverend Father Godfrey Etul and is the Associate Dean of Students, Gaba National Seminary. Father, you're most welcome. 
I wanted to be a priest at one time, but I don't know what happened. So we have um, a ministers, we have Dr. Bishop David Chiganda, uh, and uh, Bishop David Chiganda, you know this is a very great man, a man of God. Wow! Bishop, thank you so much for loving Kampala University. And is the director of 93 Kingdom FM and KTV. Thank you so much for coming. We have Professor Arthur Ahimbisibwe, academic registrar, uh, Victoria University. Uh, Professor, where are you seated? Thank you so much for uh, honoring our invitation. And also, Her Excellency Namale Esther Florence, the good president. We have uh, members from the Scouts headquarters. Madam Alice Nina Mahoro, uh, Chief Commissioner, thank you so much for coming. Mr. Mugaga Andrew, uh, thank you so much for coming. This is the Vice Chairman Board. Haji Musa Nakawangzi, thank you. Engineer Clark Kibirango, thank you, and is a board member. And also Mr. Godfrey Abau uh, from the Prisons Scouts. Thank you so much for coming. I'm about to invite the next speaker, and is none other than the Chancellor. So, we have uh, Mr. Murima Stephen, uh, District Inspector of Schools, Chiboga. Hey, the Dean of Students is coming from Chiboga. So, hey, you're graduating. Can you imagine? Thank you so much. We have Major Kenneth Nyakamwe Tugume. Uh, uh, this one is a graduate of Kampala University. Major, where are you seated, sir? Thank you so much for coming. We have Major Ainemani Gerards Kamu. Thank you so much for coming. And then we have Abdallah, Abdallah Rahman Omar. Abdallah Rahman Omar. And uh, he's coming from the Embassy of so uh, Somalia in Uganda. I think for now we can continue with the rest of the program. So we have also Dr. Swaib Kagwa in Sereko. He's representing Islamic University in Uganda. And we have the man, Mr. Bosa Chizito, Director of Operations, Higher Education Students Financing Board, has failed. And we have students that are graduating that have been funded by HESFED. Mr. Chizito, you can come here for recognition. Come, sir, come. Professor, this is the man who pays us money. Aha. Uh -huh. Learn scheme students, this is the man, the architect behind your education. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And uh, second last, we have Mr. Sam Tulia, Principal Director, Kabodja International School, and also Kabod uh, Captain Honorable Baker Njuchi from Chambadi, eh? Chabala. And lastly, there is Wabiri uh, Edith, MD, Home of Hope, Ginger. Madam Wabiri Edith, MD, of Hope, G uh, Home of Hope, Ginger. Ladies and gentlemen, permit me at this moment in time to invite the man himself, the one who is going to award you the certificates and diplomas, and confer you with degrees. And he's, not, he's a special man to you, graduates. Without him, your being here may not have sense, I should say. But he's the man who's going to confer you with your degrees. And uh, he's none other than Honorable Professor George Mondo Kagonura, a great man in this country, in East Africa and the world over, is a decorated academician. Sir, he was the Chancellor of Makerere University. You're very much aware. He's the Chancellor of Kampala University, and he's the Chancellor of East African University, Rwanda, and he's the Chancellor of the East African University, Nairobi, Kenya. So you're honored to be conferred by such a great man. Professor, this congregation is yearning to hear your good voice. Thank you so much, sir.
This is a wonderful day. I am more than flattered that all of you, especially those who are graduating today, you have kept so quiet to listen to what I am going to say. I am more than flattered. Thank you very, very much indeed. Professor Katerega, in his speech, has referred to all the people who should be addressed. But allow me to address the chief guest, Professor Manfred Dietrich, all the way from Hamburger in Germany, and I will have a few moments to say something about, about him. The rest of the members, graduates, your parents, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you all to this very important occasion in the lives of your children. First, What is knowledge? Why knowledge? Those of you who are graduating today may have just come to Kampara University just to fulfill a function in your lives. But my hope is that you all know the importance of knowledge. As we all know, ladies and gentlemen, our continent, Africa, is the most disadvantaged in the world in all human indices. Whether it is per capita income, we have the lowest. Whether it is maternal mortality, we have the highest. Whether it is child mortality, we have the highest. And even when it comes to peace, probably, we, are, we may be the least peaceful in the world. And the easily the most important reason why we are like that, why we have all these disadvantages, is the lack of knowledge. Therefore, you people, the graduates, that you came out sick for knowledge, you didn't realize you are making a very important contribution to the development of your continent. That's why I'm most flattered to be able to preside over this occasion. It is my distinct pleasure and honor to welcome you all to this 21st graduation ceremony of Kampara University. We are also kick-starting the celebrations, as Professor Katega said, marking the silver jubilee of this institution, i.e. having completed 25 years of existence. You may also be pleased to know that on this same occasion, our School of Nursing and Health Sciences is holding its fifth graduation ceremony in which close to 600 graduates are being presented. And I would like to inform the nursing graduates that my association with Professor Katerega started at your campus. When he took me for a visit, and that's when I, I was impressed by his zeal and strength to promote education in this country. Therefore, I have a special relationship to you graduates in nursing, and I congratulate you specially. I want to welcome our chief guest, Dr. Manfred Dietrich, all the way from the, 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 the city of Hamburger in northern Germany, whom I had the pleasure to meet yesterday. I beg your intelligence to make a few remarks about this distinguished person. Professor Manfred Dietrich is not an ordinary man, 
by any stretch of imagination. This is this is my question is which one? This is a gentleman who has spent almost all his long life with a special interest in the people of Africa. You will be told that thank you very much. You'll be told that as a young man a, a doctor, a graduate doctor, he volunteered to go and work in the, in, in, in the Gambia. And at that time, he was easily the only qualified medical personality in the whole of the countryside of Gambia. And he was supposed to treat everybody except those who lived in in, in, the, in the capital. That the, that, that the young man you are talking about. <laughs> Professor Dietrich, I believe, is one of the important people who helped develop the Uganda government policy on the disease AIDS. At the time he got involved, we in Uganda, we probably had the highest incidence, and the nursing graduates know this, the highest incidence of HIV in the world. As of now, we rank a humble more than 26. Dr. Manfred Dietrich is the, one of the people who advised the government of Uganda that we had to face the discharged HIV as if we were in a battlefield fighting an enemy. So I want to thank him in, in front of you people for having helped the government of Uganda to develop a policy where we have been fighting AIDS as if we are fighting a, a battle. So congratulations and thank you very much. I don't know whether he will be able to tell you this, but let me tell you also that to the extent that this man is so, so much loves our continent, the late John Nagenda, a celebrated writer, once wrote about him in the papers and said, Dr. Manfred Dietrich was an African in white skin. And this gentleman on my right, I am actually left-handed, he should have been on the left, feels more about us Africans than the vast majority of us feel about ourselves. So I want to thank you, sir, for honoring this ceremony, and we look forward for the award you are going to, to be presented with. Thank you for coming. Today, as we gather to celebrate the culmination of years of hard work on the part of the students, their parents, hard work, dedication, and perseverance, I am filled with immense pride and joy for this moment that marks the beginning of a new chapter in your lives. I have been in this world long enough. I have seen many young men and women graduate, and it makes a difference in their lives. You may have the fear about the future, but probably the best weapon you could ever be armed with in order to face the future is knowledge. Therefore, I believe you have been prepared well enough to face the future with the courage. As we celebrate 25 years of amazing existence, I recognize and appreciate parents, guardians, sponsors for the financial and moral support accorded to you graduates, hence enabling our graduates to achieve this landmark in their lives. I'd like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to, 
members of the faculty, yes, and the staff who have guided and supported the graduates in their academic journey. And you see, you guys, you can see what education does. Those people you see on my left are the most highly educated people around. And you can see how modesty and humbly they sit and listen to what is going on. That's what to expect of an educated person. I want to express my gratitude to members of the academic staff. Thank you. You, the academic staff, your dedication and commitment under very difficult circumstances, by the way, has played an important role in the success of these graduates, and we are profoundly grateful to you. Having been a teacher myself, I understand the task you have always carried in, old, in while you mentored these young, younger graduates. So I appreciate your, your, your contribution. There is a need for the government, and I am glad there are some members of parliament here, Honorable Basarirwa, I think besides being interested in the bill you just had passed through government, I would like to see you stress the importance of government contribution to education of our children. There is another member of parliament. There is any government in the world cannot pretend seriously to promote growth of their country without supporting education. And you cannot get results that you don't contribute to. Therefore, I want to appeal to the members of parliament who are here and other government leaders, please put more money into education. We need not to reinvent the wheel. We know what happened in Singapore. We know what happened in South Korea and other East Asian countries. What did they do in order to be what they are? They invested in education. So we cannot afford to think about the development without investing in education. We all know that the wealth of the world today does not depend upon the natural resources you have, whether it is gold, whether it is oil. Unless you have knowledge, you can never develop sufficiently. The richest man in the world, because of knowledge, has four times, his wealth is four times your GDP. Our GDP is what? 50 billion? Professor, the owner of us are you? What is our GDP? No, I mean in dollars. Sorry? Well, I'm told that our, our GDP is about 50 trillion shillings. I don't know what that is in dollars, but the richest man in the world, one person, is worth $240 billion. His wealth, one person, is more than four times the GDP of 44 million people in this country. And the difference between us and those wealthy people is knowledge. So we cannot pretend at all about the importance of knowledge. That's why I'm grateful that you young men and women are making a, mod a modest contribution to the development of knowledge in our country. And I want, as the Waganda said, to see Mabu 
I want you to do more. Bachelor's degrees, yes, but certainly get master's and a PhD. And a more and a more knowledge. Because that's the only way we can develop this country. We cannot do it without developing development of knowledge. The, the, the knowledge in industry is, is uh, the most important industry we could, you could think about. By working closely with the university, governments can harness and should harness expertise, modernism, and the resources necessary for development and improve the well-being of our society. Therefore, we appeal to the government, Honor Yobasai and others, to work closely with the universities and support them since they heavily contribute to national development goals and the transformation of our society. To staff and management, as we celebrate the accomplishments of our graduates today, we also recognize the invaluable knowledge that members of staff have played in their energy, in, in, in their journey. Your passion for education and your relentless pursuit of excellence have inspired generations of students to dream big and reach out, out to, to, the, to the stars. Your leadership has been instrumentally instrumental in shaping the academic journey of our graduates, providing them with the resources, guidance, and the support they needed to thrive. From fostering a culture of innovation, championing diversity and inclusiveness, your vision has laid the foundation for a vibrant and dynamic learning community. Managing a university efficiently is a Herculean task, and therefore we cannot take, take what you have been doing, doing for granted. Therefore, I wish to commend the founding vice chancellor of Kampala University, OHT Ambassador Rohaji Professor Salongo Badru Katorega, for steering well this, this able team with the enormous help of Mrs. Jore. Shubaiha Katerega. Thank you for your visionary leadership and tireless dedication to our institution's mission. Your guidance and support have been instrumental in shaping the academic experience of our graduates and ensuring that they are well prepared to face the opportunities and the challenges of the future. To you, graduates, Throughout your journey, you have overcome numerous challenges, both academic and personal. You have exhibited resilience in the face of adversity, and you have demonstrated a commitment to excellence. Today, we honor not only your academic achievement, but also your character, integrity, and passion. These are very important, by the way, Ladies and gentlemen, as we all know, it is okay to have the hard skills, whether you are an engineer, an accountant, a lawyer, a musician, unless you have the soft skills of integrity, of honesty, of hard work, you cannot achieve much in life. So I hope that during your studies, the soft skills have been a major component. Graduation is about looking forward with hope and optimism as we embark on the new chapter. Remember the values that have guided you thus far. As I have said, integrity, empathy, and thirst for knowledge. They will serve, uh, they will serve as your campus as you navigate the complexities of the wo world beyond these walls, beyond this uh, tent. In today's 
rapidly changing landscape, the future is filled with both uncertainty and possibilities. Embrace the unknown with courage and curiosity, knowing that you possess the skills and capabilities to strive in any environment. Seize every opportunity to learn, grow, and make a positive impact in the world around you. As you pursue your dreams and aspirations, remember the importance of kindness, compassion, and humility, the need to serve others. Success is not measured solely by personal achievement, but by the lives we touch and the difference we make in other people's lives. Before I conclude, allow me to specially welcome to this function my old friend, Honorable Ken Richams, the man. This is a man who knows the importance of knowledge. This is a man who knows the importance of going back to school of going to school. As you all may know, he is a graduate of Makerere University Law School, and I hope you are now a practicing lawyer. And I am glad you have honored our function by physically attending. Thank you very much for coming. I have no doubt that going to school has made a difference in his ability to serve this country. Let me also pay personal tribute to the lady, one of the people who is graduating. I'm told she's a superintendent of police. Please stand up again. Come in front. Turn around. Face your fellow graduate. All of you, or all of us, are used to people in police form as people who harass us. But because of her education, this woman is humbly seated among her fellow graduates. You can see what the knowledge can do. Congratulations, madam. I have no doubt that your education will definitely make you a much better police officer than you have been. Congratulations. And take the message to the rest of the police. And I'm therefore happy that the chief of education in the police, in the military, stand up. You know, you people, we are used to our armed forces being manned by failures in society. So I want to congratulate the government of Uganda for making that difference, that our armed forces, whether it's prisons, police, the army, understand the importance of education. And you can, and you can take the message back to your forces, aha, uh -huh. Very good. Thank you very much indeed. And the scouts indeed. Very good. You know very well, ladies and gentlemen, education makes a difference. Thank you. Please resume your seat. In the conclusion, yes, it's very important. The armed forces must be educated. They determine a lot of what happens in our lives. Therefore, they should be part of our society. And it is only education that can equalize our people. We need to say this, Professor Katerega, that when the country, our country, we are trying to equalize the people of Uganda, to equalize the people of Afri East Africa and Africa, to be equal to the rest of the world, we can only do it through knowledge. 
Forget about it. Money, you can have all the money in the world. You can have all the weapons in the world. But if you don't have knowledge, you are a loser. In conclusion, let me reiterate my congratulations to the university for attaining the historic milestone of the Silver Jubilee and look forward for it to hit the Golden Jubilee, Professor Katerega. I hope you will be around to celebrate the Golden Jubilee. <laughs> At this juncture, let me record my personal appreciation to which Steve Wabadru Katerega and his gracious wife, Jory Katerega Tubaya, for pioneering the foundation, supporting and sustaining this institution up, up to where it, uh, it is now. It's no mean feat that today we are graduating over 3,000 graduates at this occasion. In the same vein, let me use this occasion to congratulate. Ah, I'm talking about the chief guest. I've already talked talk to you about our chief guest, a wonderful man, a friend of Uganda, a friend of Africa. In the same way, vein, let me use this occasion to congratulate him and his accompanying delegation, who include Prof. Uh, Dr. Uh, ben Mbonye, a celebrated orthopedic surgeon and a former uh, um, permanent secretary in, in, in our Ministry of Defense, proprietor of Nakasero Hospital, for having been good friends with you. Professor Manfred, thank you, for, uh, Dr. Mbonye, for coming to, 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 to grace this occasion. Management and the staff, I thank you very much for this wonderful occasion, for arranging a wonderful function, for your dedication to nurturing the minds and the spirits of our students. I'm, I'm summarizing. Finally, once again, to you graduates who are going to turn into graduates today, in the next few minutes, please accept my congratulations. The future is bright. I know there is a lot of unemployment, but with, armed with some knowledge, there are some interventions you will be able to make in your in your lives. I have every confidence that you will continue to shine brightly, illuminating the world with your brilliance and compassion as alumni of Kampala University. To a great extent, ladies and gentlemen, the future is what you choose to make it. The choice is yours. And the education you have had gives you the tools with which to make the right choices. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. May God bless you all. Check, check. Thank you very much, our beloved Chancellor, Honorable Professor George Mondo Kagonera. Ladies and gentlemen, let's join up our hands to thank our beloved Chancellor for the great message and the powerful one he has just delivered. Most especially to you, the grad ones. Well, I don't hear you, grad ones. Eh? Thank you, thank you. You are a winner. Are you sure? You are a winner. You are a champion. You are the eh? <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Before, before I invite the Vice Chancellor to invite for us the Chief Guest to give uh, his speech, allow me, ladies and gentlemen, to recognize Honorable Tivana Sula, aka Simpo. Thank you so much for coming. He's an alumni of Camp, alumnus of Kampala University. We have also a super alumni, and he's a member of parliament. He was once seated here, like you. You who are graduating today. This can show you how great Kampala University is. And he's none other than Honorable Derek Nyeko. He's the MP 
member of parliament of Machinde East. This man was here, so now he's in parliament representing uh, where we are seated. He's our member of parliament, area member of parliament. Honorable, thank you so much for gracing our occasion, I mean, our invitation. Mr. Sebuato, uh, all the way from the office of the president and also a special envoy to the office of the vice chancellor. Thank you so much for coming. Sheikh Lubega Abdu, Imam Wabagaga. Sheikh Wabagaga, Sheikh Lubega Abdu. Thank you so much uh, for coming. Sheikh Ali Zikusoka, office of, office of Mufti, Supreme, office of, uh, Supreme Mufti. Uh, thank you so much for coming. Aji Musa Lukomwa. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, Mr. Jime Wukanda, Head of Public Sector, Echo Bank. Thank you so much for coming. Madam Damali Nansubuga, Relationship Manager, Public Sector, Echo Bank, Uganda. Thank you so much for coming. And we have a delegation, a powerful delegation from Busoga Kingdom. Uh, there we go. Oechtibwa Nasabu Nantare. She is the chairperson, or I mean, she's the minister for education, Busoga Kingdom. Oechtibwa. The minister for education, Busoga Kingdom. Oechtibwa Nasabu Nantare. Webare kujama ama. Oechtibwa Machora Joan, minister for foreign affairs, Busoga Kingdom. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you, and indeed, thank you. Last, second last, we have uh, Madam Naisumba Harriet representing the third prime minister, Honorable, right Honorable Lukia Nakadama. Yes, thank you so much for coming. We have OHT Wakatambala Suleiman Magala. Honorable Katam, OHT Wakatambala Ehuya. Uh, we have um, Assistant RCC Kabonera, Honorable uh, Kakaire uh, Sabit. I don't know where he's seated, but thank you so much for coming. Mr. Vice Chancellor, sir, permit me with privilege and honor to kindly uh, request you invite for us the chief guest to address the congregation. And after, Honorable Vasarirwa will be coming here to invite the chief guest to receive his honorary doctorate. You're most welcome, sir. Welcome our special chief guest, Dr. Professor Manfred. And he tells me Manfred means you're also a man of peace. And I happen also to be the ambassador of peace. So we are calling the man of peace to come and address you as the program. You are welcome, sir. The Chancellor, Professor Mondo Carabiniera, Chairman and members of the Board of Trustees, Chairman of the members and members of the University Council, members of the Senate, the Vice-Chancellor, 
Ambassador Al Hajji, Professor Badru Kadarega, Vice Chancellors of other sister universities, the Deputy Vice Chancellor, colleagues from medical fraternity, the deans of schools, heads of department, faculty and staff, alumni and continuing students of Kampala University, parents and guardians, the media, graduates, ladies and gentlemen in your various capacities. Uh, to begin with, I would like to say I was really touched entering this place, uh, feeling your enthusiasm, your happiness about this milestone you have been reached with a graduation. That was marvelous. I salute you all and uh, thank you for being here today uh, as we join Kampala University to celebrate 25 years of dedicated service in delivery of quality higher education in Uganda and the East African region in general. It is my great pleasure and privilege to have been invited to officiate as a chief guest at the 21st graduation and awards ceremony of Kampala University held today, Thursday, 25th of April, and Gaba Lake View Main Campus. First and foremost, I wish to thank the presiding chancellor, the council, the senate, the vice chancellor and his team for finding me worthy the invitation. I heartily congratulate the board of trustees, council, Senate, management, staff, students, and alumni of Kampala University upon making 25 years of active assistance while contributing to nation building through the tremendous research efforts and education programs that are being carried out at this mighty institution. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here today to celebrate and honor these graduates who have successfully completed their chosen fields of studies. I'm optimistic that today's graduates will use the knowledge, uh, skills, ethics, and professionalism inculcated in them to render good services for community transformation in their respective places of work. And as an old man, I gave you the counsel, follow your interests having targets, following up the targets, and try to reach them. That's uh, the best satisfaction, satisfaction in life. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, one of the most important goals of university education is to prepare highly skilled graduates to be employed in the labor market, either at home or abroad. However, a good number of university graduates in Uganda and elsewhere in Africa are poorly prepared for the world of work. That's what some people mean. I'm not so pessimistic. There's a disparity between the skills acquired by students in the university and the actual skills needed in the labor market. This is because the education introduced in Africa during the colonial period only focused on training job seekers rather than job creators. There is much need, therefore, in these modern times to deviate our minds and focus more on tertiary and vocational training courses, which are a viable opportunity for students who are more practical, based learners, and targeting the current dynamic and competitive global labor market. I'm proud to the fact that Kampala University has already come on board to adapt the German dual vocational training program under the auspices of an education institute in Hamburg and the Uganda consulate in Hamburg, which I personally head as the Honorary Consul. Its important program will give students from university and other tertiary, tertiary institutions the opportunity to attend both theory and practical training courses in a bit of acquire to acquire the necessary employable skills that suits the current labor market. 
And I should tell you that in Germany, the dual vocational training program was a backbone of industry. I'm delighted to learn that Kampala University at its 25 years anniversary is passing out. Yes. ready to join the labor market, out of whom over 500 graduates are professional nurses, midwives, and health workers graduating with certificates, diplomas, and degrees. Bravo. It's upon this background, therefore, that I wish to commend Kampala University by the, for the wonderful contribution towards improving healthcare systems in Uganda and the East African region in general through quality health training and community outreach programs. On the same note, I am pleased to inform you that my office is closely working with Kampala University team headed by Mrs. Jolly Katorega to establish collaborative links with several German institutions in order to create opportunities for KU students and graduates to go to Germany for further studies in medical and other vocational related courses. I take this opportunity, therefore, to once again thank the founding Vice Chancellor, Ambassador Professor Badru Kadegerika and his beloved wife for their dedication and magnificent contribution towards this great achievement. And why, uh, when, when I uh, uh, extend that uh, to the wife of the vice chancellor, uh, you should know behind a successful man is always an energetic woman. Dear ladies and gentlemen, as we celebrate the 25 years, um, the university's existence and achievement in various sectors let us also remember to celebrate the life of the founding Vice Chancellor, Ambassador Al Haji, Professor Badru Gadareka, the vision bearer who is here with us for pioneering the establishment of Kampala University. The very reason why we are here celebrating today. And I'm really astonished and surprised what can be achieved here uh, with this uh, wonderful Kampala University. I'm grateful to officiate at such a momentous occasion where Kampala University is not only just graduating thousands of students, but also kickstarting a big campaign to celebrate its silver jubilee with a series of other key events scheduled to run for a full year. In conclusion, I wish to commend the President of the Republic uh, of Uganda his Excellency Yoveri Kakuda Museveni for creating peace and liberalizing the education sector, which has given private entrepreneurs like Professor Badru Katarega the opportunity to also invest in the sector for the benefit of all Ugandans. And uh, as uh, a friend of Africa since 60 years and a friend of Uganda for almost 40 years, I want to say I congratulate you to a president who is one of the best in the world. Thank you very much for receiving me. Uh, it was a wonderful experience to see all these thousands of graduates, and I'm very happy to be here with you, and I want to celebrate with you. Thank you very much for receiving me so well. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, oh, members of staff, thank you so much. Thank you. Aha, uh -huh, DJ Mike, check one, two. Great ones, let's join up our hands to thank our beloved chief guest, please. Join up our hands to make a thunderous applause for him. You are a winner! You are a winner! You are the champions of today! You are a champion! 
Viva Kampala University! Kampala University, viva! We are here! Ra! Cha! Woo, 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 woo! Ale! There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, as I'm going to invite our university orator to give a vote of thanks on behalf of the university, let me recognize the presence of our council members. Dear council members and the chairman, I beg that you stand up for recognition. Council members, thank you. Honorable Skubwabo, Ajika Kembo, Sheikh Galali Wahab, Ochiti Wabagunyuan Kaluvo, and uh, you can see others are behind there. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. And uh, lastly, as I'm inviting Honda uh, Levasman Vasarirwa, and then there is a So let me recognize members of staff. Graduates, these people have taught you, members of staff, you can stand. It will be really unfair to not recognize. These are the people who have been giving you courseworks and marking them. Can you clap for them, please? Do it again. And lastly, clap more. So these people have taught you. And now, you're great people. Thank you. This man is going to summarize for us in German the speech of the chief guest. Then, Honorable Basarirwa gives us a vote of thanks on behalf of the university. A very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's an honor and privilege to thank our chief guests. Professor Dr. Manfred Dietrich, a very good friend to the university and also to um, the country in Uganda. I have the honor to summarize his speech in German briefly for purposes of the media back home in Germany. Yeah, Damen und Herren, um, es freut mich hier zu sein. Ein großes Dank an Herrn Professor Katerka und Frau ähm, Katerka für die Einladung. Danke, dass ich hier sein darf. Ich freue mich, hier an dieser Veranstaltung teilzunehmen als Sondergast. Und es ist mir immer eine Freude, unter so vielen jungen Menschen zu sitzen, die ihren Abschluss gemacht haben. Es ist mir eine Ehre und Freude, denn hier bin ich zu Hause in Uganda. Ich bin seit Jahren ähm, ein Freund von Afrika, aber auch besonders äh, fast für 40 Jahren ein Freund für Uganda. Dankeschön, ähm, dass ihr alle hier seid. Und ähm, es freut mich, euch mitzuteilen, dass ihr heute das Wissen, was ihr erworben habt, ähm, anwenden könnt in der Welt, um, wenn ihr morgen zur Arbeit geht, in die Arbeitswelt. Ich freue mich auch, Ihnen mitzuteilen, dass, um, dass wir daran arbeiten, es hier in Uganda zu ermöglichen, um, dass junge Menschen auch dual studieren können bzw. eine duale Ausbildung in Uganda machen können. Das ist sehr hilfsreich und das um, machen wir möglich mit der Universität Kampala. Zum Schluss möchte ich mich bei Herrn Professor Katerga bedanken für die Einladung noch einmal. Und um, es freut mich, dass wir sein Leben feiern können. Er ist hier mit uns und um, es ist eine Freude, dass wir hier sind. Ganz herzlichen Dank und einen schönen Tag. Let's thank him for that great interpretation. I've been so excited on the day graduation. So, Tuli Gaba, I'm sorry if I don't say, Kasubi Nabula Gala. Are we together? So, we recognize the presence of the director of Chadondo Technical Institute, 
Mr. Serwanja Asadu. I don't know whether you're seated. And this is an alumnus of Kampala University and is the director of Chadondo Technical Institute here in Ibsabala. So, Honorable Asma Nivasa he has been the university orator since inception. He can give a vote of thanks. He's in the right position to give a vote of thanks on behalf of the entire university. DJ Muteredeza Kazindaro Kazizemwan. The people of Bujiri, I know they are watching. Anybody from Bujiri here? Eh, yeah, okay. Our dear chief guest and Mr. Chancellor Sir, may I request uh, the members of parliament who are here, both current and former, to join me at the podium before I make my remarks. My young brother, Honorable Derek Nyeko, my senior and elder, the Honorable John Ken, the chums, the man. The Honorable Sasaga Isaiah here, somebody was struggling with his name. It is Sasaga Isaiah. Eh? Eh? Honorable Jeremiah Mutwala Ante. Yes. At our dear chief guest, the chancellor of the university, the vice chancellor of the university, the chairperson of the university council, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I have one singular duty of expressing the vote of thanks on behalf of Kampala University, one to the chief guest for accepting our invitation to be chief guest, but also for being a very useful and productive partner of Kampala University. We want to thank you, and we also want to thank your speech, the fact that there is an opportunity for people from this university to come to Germany for further studies is something we never take lightly and is an offer that will uh, always ensure that we partake. We want to thank you so much. Chief Guest, I want to inform you that we have had many partnerships, but not as productive as the one you have proposed. I want to thank the Vice Chancellor for ensuring that in the history of the university, we have partners like our chief guest. Vice Chancellor, sir, some people are born great. Some achieve greatness, while others have greatness thrust upon them. The Vice Chancellor you see there, Ambassador Al Haji Professor, is an example of all the three greatness in that sentence. He was born great. He has achieved greatness, and he has greatness thrust upon him. We will always pray to the Almighty Allah to preserve him. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have been part of the history of this university. In fact, for the last 25 years, I have been here. And if I'm not mistaken, all the graduation ceremonies, I have said the word. I have institutional memory. Mr. Chancellor, sir, chairman of the University Council, we want to thank the Vice Chancellor for these initiatives. There was a time, Mr. Chancellor, sir, we were about five staff here, and we would do everything. Whatever you are seeing here would be done by five of us. Usually on the eve of graduations, we would leave this place at around 3 a.m. in the morning just to go to our homes and change, and by 5, we are here. I am glad that there is expansion. We now have many staff. We now have many students. I can even afford to come late, Mr. Chancellor, sir, because I am aware that we have expanded. We have 20 people who are now doing what we are seeing here. I said last year, Mr. Chancellor, son, chief guest, that Kampala University has now moved from success to impact because the two are different. 
you can be successful and less impactful. For us, we have left success behind. Let others try with the success. For us, we are now on doing impact. So the graduates of this university and the people you are seeing here, and in a special way, I want to recognize my young brother, the Honorable Derek Nyeko, who is also the shadow minister. I don't know, uh, Mr. Chancellor, sir, how it came about that all the MPs who are here now are in opposition. I don't know how it has come about. The Honorable Isaiah Sasaga here is FDC from the mountains. The Honorable Derek Nyeko here is Noop from much in the east, and I am Jema from Mujiri municipality. I, I don't know how it has happened, and I don't want anybody to interpret it beyond that, because I know Professor is a friend to all, but he's also an NRM historical for your information, but he's a friend to all. But the point I am making, especially to our graduates, when you see products of Kampala University, like Honorable Derek Nyeko here, making impact in Parliament, what that means is that you never made the wrong choice to come here to get education from here. We have been here. This university has educated the governors in our neighborhood. This university has educated the ministers. It has educated the RDCs. It has educated the MPs. You have no reason whatsoever, you students who have been through this university, you have no reason whatsoever for not succeeding. If you are not successful, then the reason should not be because you came here. It should be out of your own volition, out of your incompetence. Some of you attribute lack of success to witchcraft. If you are a believer in that, attribute it to witchcraft. But we are confident that we have really given you sufficient knowledge and information to survive in this world. Anywhere, whether they take it to Afghanistan or Somalia or Congo, you should be able to survive. Mr. Chancellor, sir, as I conclude, this university here has also hosted the mighty in this country and the region. At one time here, Mr. Chancellor, sir, and chief guest, our chief guest one time here was the former president of Tanzania, the late Mwalim Hassan Mwenyi. We were here with him, those of you who recall. He just died recently, and may his soul rest in peace. He was here. We have hosted the Kabaka here. The Katikro has been here. Speakers of parliament have been here. And virtually everybody has been here. So the university has now reached a level where we can proudly say we are up there with the others. So I want to thank you, Vice Chancellor. I want to thank the staff. I want to thank the university council members. And they have been consistent. Mr. Chief Guest, that council has been consistent. And we've been moving with them everywhere. Whether we are in Kitengera, in, in Kenya, or we are in, 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 in Rwanda, we've been moving together. We want to thank you so much for this opportunity. Finally, finally, Mr. Chancellor, sir, for us, we are politicians. Just permit me, each of these colleagues, to say their names. To say their names. Not to make a speech, because I've spoken on their behalf, on behalf of the university. But to say their names, and then I'll, 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 I'll wrap it up. Okay, let's begin for me. Honorable Josephine Nasazu Mulamata, KCCA Minister for Education, and today I'm here as the mayor marching the division. Uh, thank you, Honorable Basarira. I'm uh, Honorable Nyeko Derrick, Member of Parliament for Makindia East, and uh, Shadow Minister for Defense and Veteran Affairs. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. My name is Sasaga Isaiah. I represent Budadil East in Sronko. I am a member of the Board of Bugis Cooperative Union, where we sponsor a good number of children in this university. 
and I'm also the vice chairperson of the Uganda Scouts Council, where the professor is our chief scout. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Honorable Vasta Lerwa. I'm Honorable Dr. Tuatua Jeremiah Mpalante, former member of parliament, political constituency in the East, but currently the Dean School of Health Sciences. I'm also glad to mention that uh, I'm currently the, one of the co-chairs of the uh, NCD working group of the World Federation of Public Health Associations. Thank you for blessing this occasion. And finally, Mr. Chief Guest and Mr. Chancellor, in this world, the entire world, we only have one man, John Ken Luchamzi, the man. And for him, is a man with a capital M. All of us are men with small M's. He has a special poem which will last about one and a half minutes. So I want to ask him uh, to make that poem before we, we conclude. Uh, this round. Mr. Chancellor, sir, our guest of honor, distinguished graduates, the staff, ladies, and the gentlemen. I'm John Ken Rukiams, the man, former member of parliament for Rubaga South and the president of the Conservative Party, but I also I am known for having negated the spray of DDT in Uganda's parliament. The poem I'm going to extend is titled, Uganda is Paradise, and it is dedicated to Kampala University. I have been excited by the comments of wisdom Professor Kagonyera made about me, because we are colleagues in parliament. Uganda, Uganda, Uganda. Uganda is the land of the sun. It is the land of the crocodiles. It is the land of the gorillas. It is a land of the lions. It is the pearl of Africa. At the Maxion Falls, when the waters flow, the lions roar, the grass yawn, and the rains fall. Uganda is a nation of many nations with diverse peoples, diverse cultures. The Aruru, Chapadola, Purukoti, Abanyankori, Abachiga. They are also kings, a mormon of Teso, Omkuka of Bugesho, Adola of Usinga. What? Omukama of Toro, Omukama of Bunyoro, Chabazinga of Soga. In Buganda, the Kabaka reigns, it does not rule, but it still commands. <laughs> there are also beautiful birds, tittering birds, the kites, the green kites. The African schema, the shoe bead stock, the fish eagle, the crested crane, the crested crane, the crested crane. Bagasta and Abanastangi, we must study or cost to ya. Wagistire, Nostonio, Estomestero, Listino, a Kusturu, we must Omsastaja Ostoyo, Kateleste Ga, Musastaja Nyostoyo. Our dear Chief Guest and Mr. Chancellor, I think you see it was necessary for the man to recite the poem and to also, uh, yes, these people to know that he has special attachment to this institution. We want to thank you, uh, the Honorable John Ken Luchamzi, Mr. Chief Guest, we want to thank you once again, Mr. Chancellor, sir. We want to thank you for being our Chancellor, almost eternal Chancellor. We want to thank you for the guidance that you continue to, for, to offer us. For God and my country, long live Kampala University. Viva Kampala University!
Viva Kampala University. Viva. Viva Westi wa Ambassada Katerega. Viva. Ra. Ra. Ah. Ah. Thank you very much. Thank you indeed, Honorable Asman Vasalirwa, a university orator and is a member of parliament for Bujiri Municipality, is a lawyer and uh, director of different schools. Thank you. In fact, that was enough interlude. Eh? Mr. Staja. On and on and on. Ladies and gentlemen, at this moment in time, permit me to invite or oh, welcome the delegation from the Embassy of Iran in Uganda, and we shall recognize them as we are carrying on this function. Ladies and gentlemen, before I invite uh, Dr. Walder, allow me to recognize Sheikh Seruyange, Seruyange Aruna, uh, Sheikh Migade Sulaiman, Ajat Shamim Malende, and uh, Mr. Muhammad Ntege. They are coming on behalf of uh, the district cult of Wakiso, who is also a student here at Kampala University. Sheikh, uh, thank you so much for your dedication. Mr. Salim Kasuja, Commissioner Office, uh, Kasuja, Commercial Office of Tambala District, thank you. And Sheikh Bilari Buyondo, Chirudu Buziga Mosque. Thank you. Lastly, Mr. Samuel uh, Mpimba, Mpimbaza Shaka. I think this one is an RD, he's the RDC of Obong in Madi sub region, West Nile, and uh, he's a parent of Kampala University with 10 graduates here. Mpimbaza Shaka, uh, Mr. Samuel, where are you seated, sir? You, he's an RDC. Yeah. That one. Ole! 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 Wow! RDC and is a parent. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, permit me now to invite Dr. Wald Rajab, the Deputy Vice Chancellor in charge of academics, research, innovation, and internationalization. Okay, the Chancellor has something to say. Yeah, just a small observation. Honorable Professor, uh, Honorable Vasayirwa, I just want to comfort you. You see, for us at Kampara University, we are unique. You said the Chancellor is an NRM historical, but the Vice Chancellor is a freedom fighter. <laughs> and an NRM historical. But the difference between us and others is that we are sufficiently educated and knowledgeable to realize that not all people have the same mind. Therefore, we are happy to accommodate even members of the opposition. Where is Shamim Malende? Where is she? She's not here. So please, honorable members of parliament and other members of the opposition, in Uganda, feel comfortable. A country that has no opposition is not a very safe country to live in. Thank you very much. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you so much for clearing the air, Mr. Chancellor. That's why he's our head. <laughs> so we'll invite our Deputy Vice Chancellor to take us in the next program. Thank you so much. You are a winner! You are a champion. We are welcoming our DVC. You are a winner. You are a champion. Uh, champions talk with enough energy. Eh? <laughs> um, Mr. Chancellor, sir, we have come to one of the most important occasions of this function as we celebrate the 25th anniversary 
of Kampala University. Today, we are going into an honorary degree program where we are awarding the chief guest. So we are going to turn him into one of you dear graduates. He's also going to receive an award. At this juncture, Mr. Chairman, permit me to invite the academic registrar and his team and allow me, Mr. Chief Guest, to request you to stand up so that you are derobed of your ceremonial gown so that you go into the next function where you'll be robbed, not robbing, robbery, <laughs> or gowned. So we request that uh, you remove the regalia he's in, then he comes down with his team. I'll also invite his friends who came with him to come down so that we can um, administer this function. Gently and nicely, with very mild music in the background, as he comes down, then you'll stop at the citation. So we are going through the function of derobing him from the ceremonial gown, and we shall remove the hat the academic registrar has removed the gown. Now he's removing the hat. And our chief guest, now an honoree, will be escorted down the stairs to the green carpet together with the friends he came with in preparation for this ceremony. Thank you, DJ. Mr. Chancellor, sir, after the citation, the academic registrar will rob, gown the honoree, and then you will do the regular parting of the hat and wear, put on him the proper hat. I commence, Mr. Chancellor. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you Professor Dr. Manfred Dietrich for the award of the Honorary Doctor of Philosophy, Honoris Causa in Public Health. Mr. Chancellor Sir, Kampala University is honored to present to you Professor Dr. Manfred Dietrich, who is a doctor of medicine from the Germany Medical School, University of Heidelberg. Professor Dr. Dietrich is also a graduate in tropical medicine from the Tropical Medicine Institute of Hamburg, Germany, and a PhD holder in hematology magna cum laude from the University of Ulm, Germany. His dissertation was in hematology. Since then, he has had a noteworthy career and notable real-world experience. Dr. Dietrich was a professor of hematology and oncology and served as the head of leukemia treatment and bone marrow transplantation at the University of Ulm, Germany, where he had also served as a research associate in hematology and oncology. Professor Dietrich also served as a research associate at the University of Freiburg and Euratom Institute of Hematology, both in Freiburg, Germany and West Africa. Mr. Chancellor, sir, he was a medical director at AFC Hospital Sino County in Liberia. Professor Dietrich served as a guest researcher at the famous NIH National Institute of Health located at Bethesda, Maryland in the United States of America. Mm -hmm. 
Professor Dietrich also served as Chief of Hospital of Tropical Diseases in Hamburg, Germany. Professor Dietrich is a member of several scientific societies across the globe. This includes serving as President of German AIDS Medical Society and Fellow of the British Society of Tropical Medicine. He is the Honorary Consul of the Republic of Uganda in Hamburg, Germany, and an advisor for HIV and tropical diseases to His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda. He was instrumental in setting up the Uganda Joint Clinical Research Center, and above all, he is the technical advisor to the Vice Chancellor of Kampala University and Chairman BDK Universities, Universities Network International. Mr. Chancellor, sir. The award of this honorary doctor of philosophy in public health honoris causa is a fitting appreciation and recognition for the extraordinary contribution that Professor Dr. Manfred Dietrich has made as a scientist, a leader, and an instrumental promoter of Kampala University, the Republic of Uganda, and Sub-Saharan Africa for quite a number of years. Mr. Chancellor Sir, I now take the honor to invite Professor Dr. Manfred Dietrich to be awarded the Honorary Doctor of Philosophy in Public Health Honoris Causa by the Kampala University Senate on this 25th day of April 2024 at the 21st graduation convocation of Kampala University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I bow to you. I now request Professor Dietrich to be gowned by the academic registrar with the light music in the background. He has been gowned. The academic registrar will equally hood him. And then he will move forward and bow in front of the chancellor. In academia, it's an equivalent of being anointed for the people of God. You understand what I'm saying? academic registrar. The awardee has now been gowned in Kampala University's original gown for the award of honorary doctorate of philosophy of, uh, in public health. This is an excited moment, graduates. Viva Kampala University! Viva. Kampala University, viva. viva! We are here and Professor Dietrich is here. Thank you. Please, thank you. We can now move forward. Just close to the podium. Put the to, with the, so you give the heart, academic registrar, you give the heart to the chancellor so he can. Okay, so you put the heart on. Yes, yes, yes. All right. The chancellor has advised that you put the tap. I guess he will tap with his own heart. Yes. Yeah. I think that's what he's going to do. He has allowed the heart to be put on in advance. For those of you who are witnessing for the first time, you are very lucky. This is uh, one of very important academic moments. So he will move closer, and the chancellor will then tap his heart with his own heart. 
question. Can we move closer to the... Yeah. Thank you, Ms. Uh, Madam Registrar. Madam DVC, sir. DVC. Kampala University continues to make history. And this is part of the history we are making. I'd like Mr. Graduant to let you know that I have had the honor to graduate three heads of state. Three, three heads of state. Can you clap for that, please? Yes. So you are joining the group of the late uh, President Mukapa, a graduate of Makerere, Mike Bake, graduate of Makerere, and His Excellency President Museveni, a graduate of Makerere. Clap, clap, clap. But it's my distinguished honor and privilege to participate in this function. Therefore, if you can give to me, this is By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer about that this person whose name has been presented the degree of Doctor of Philosophy Honoris Causa in the Public Health of Kampala University. Congratulations. Viva Kampala University! Kampala University, viva! We are here. So I'll request the graduate to give an acceptance speech. Uh, Mr. Chancellor, Mr. Vice Chancellor, uh, all the academic staff, and your students, your graduates, I'm very pleased and very honored uh, by this uh, move to be a doctor of philosophy of the Kampala University in Uganda. Uh, at that occasion, I should say, uh, this is a t touching moment because uh, it gives me uh, the remembrance of my time I have been spending four African countries and especially for Uganda. But what was my motivation? My motivation was always to present our knowledge we have been accumulating over 2,000 years in Europe to Africa because I trusted in my African friends that they have the same brain volume as we have. But we have a chance, we have an advantage for 2,000 years of being more civilized but having the chance to get industry and everything like this. And uh, in Africa, the life was different. But now, you are becoming the most important part in the world, I should say, in the next 50 or 100 years. Uh, not only that uh, you have so many resources, uh, in Africa, but also you have a lot of young people who are eager to achieve something and who are uh, eager to uh, be trained and educated and uh, to be on the high level of everything in profession, in uh, science, in research and everything. And I, let me mention the example of the Joint Clinical Research Center, which was officially founded in 1993, but uh, it was working uh, years before. Uh, I was uh, presenting a strategy for the fight against AIDS to your president, and he was well informed already. However, he followed some, at least, of my advisors. One was a joint clinical research center. What I said at that time to President Museveni, I said, we help to establish this center by my own income, by my own visions, uh, by my staff, uh, by our institution. However, 
the in this institute must be governed and directed by a Ugandan citizen, never by an American, never by a European, never by a South African, never by an Australian. It must be a Ugandan doctor who is leading that center because I was trusting that he will do the right thing for Uganda. And that happened. Now, uh, the Child Clinical Research Center here in Kampala is on the highest level of science research in HIV in the world. So they are, have reached the upper level you can have. And I trusted my countrymen, I should say, Ugandans. Furthermore, I've uh, learned by establishing this center that people are not only gentle, polite, nice, but they are also motivated. They are engaged to reach, to reach something, to achieve something, and that I think is the most, the best motivation to go into research and into a profession and into education. That I wanted to say. So uh, this is a great, great honor for me. It's a great thank to my work and the best one I could have because I don't want money. I want to have uh, things working and uh, I, that's why I was engaging myself so much in Uganda. There are some people in the world who don't judge Uganda as a, as a good state, as a democratic state. And I try to convince everybody I know that the uh, country is uh, right. You are a fantastic nation. You have a fantastic political regime. You have a fantastic parliament, uh, independent uh, uh, people and um, you are on the rise to much higher position in Africa. Thank you very much again for this big honor. Um, at this juncture, we are going to request the graduate, who is also our chief guest, to walk up and receive his certificate and award. And the friends, we are going to request that you stay here because he's going to come back and cut the cake to honor the 25th anniversary. Thank you. So I'll hand over the award and the certificate to the ch vice chancellor, who will then hand over to the chancellor to hand over to the graduate.
Lye Kula, Sanyo Laverio, Mobaizi, the Napo Loarero, Abaizi, Abari Munkumi, Esatu, Gamna Fariera, Turaba, Yakova Zavazanto, over the new valley, the Dalok Tambla Nape, Lunako Loarero, those are Mukolo Gutambo de, Abue Gutio, Mukolo Gurimo, Emikole Satu, Matikira Gomu, the Guavi Mogumo, Bana Feva was a Mia Kavirimo at Anunga University. Ateko sana haba sawo na bo Ababa deba tira kutikiru wabo kane yoli na kolo walero Pasa zo wachikole dao Creativity yo uh, Professor Jiyayo gedeko nga tuta andiko mkolo Nga tumo jia mchisenge jia bade Yeyo So haba hizi mwenando za tuja baku viliza Kuvera abubezi bagu mikiriza Oluenso ngevi ntusibi angu jemu jia Bamu haba taina mirimo Field design yangu haba line mirimo Katuba sabire Abata jirina, haba jirina mjikuwa tenga mirimo Abata jirina uh, mjinonye mnonye yo Mkule mikuwane miru mji Tuja kuda msinka nenza jali boksa Deno, deno, deno wali Haji musi ni kalisa Weto wetuli Kiriza nkuzeyo um, wa mgana nge akiramule Abenga afuna adhani HT wa uruvanyima Ate tuja kuda mtukuwa tagane I sign out now Eno ye Salam TV. Explore, enjoy, and dance to the latest content 